before we get into this video, I know what people are saying, you know, wait until the coronavirus is over before you go and whack about it. Well, I'm going to whack about it, because I'm, I have to give credit, first of all, I have to give credit to New Zealand, the New Zealand government. You know, their, their leadership, you know, at this time, in, in very, in very difficult times, you know, obviously they took a huge pay cut, every member of the government over there took a huge pay cut. Not a word about it in Ireland, not a word about a pay cut for any TD or any minister or anything like that, not a word, not a word about a pay cut. Not a word, not a word. Um, but anyway, we're getting lo lots behind closed doors anyway, but anyway. Um, and what I mean by that, a few envelopes being passed around. Um, but it's just the thing. They closed their borders. They closed their ports, they closed their airports, and they were right to do it. And anybody coming into the country had to stay two weeks in quarantine, forced quarantine. And you know, I pat them on the back, and this country could walk in, into the open airport now and nobody said boo. Cherry picking, like, honestly, bringing in pickers from Bulgaria, they pick, I don't know what they, what were they picking, to, was it, I don't even, strawberries, it was strawberries. Like, you have, like, you, you, you have to just see that, and just say, where in the name of the God is our government? Is our government in Cuckoo Land? Because I think it's in Cuckoo Land, there's only 18 deaths in New Zealand. Over a thousand cases, but only 18 deaths. Now that shows me, and it's only a thousand cases, and now the cases are skyrocketed. And that shows me that they know what they're doing over there. They have an idea, they know exactly what they're doing in New Zealand. The New Zealand government has a brain. In this country, the government couldn't have a brain if the, if the life depended on it. The only thing they know is how to make money in this country. And it's just very, very simple what they could have done. They left the two doors open, they left the back door open, they left the foot door open. And they left, said, oh, let's go in. Um, like New Zealand, there's an island too, the same as Ireland. Um, they have a brain, they're using their advantage. They're like, it's an New Zealand's an island. Let's use our advantage. And that's the thing. Islands like Australia and New Zealand, you know, they're, they're strict to get in any day, you no, know, during this time. They have a brain, they have a bit of a brain. They protect their borders, they make sure, you know, nobody has to come in this time. And there's still planes coming to the Dublin airport, and there's people, tourists, there's a few tourists still coming in. And you, you're like, well, what kind of government lets, you like, that, like, Leo Farkas and Simon Courtney, and I was helping the Northern Homes too. You know, the state, I'm going to say this straight, and I'm saying this as somebody um, who watched this and hoped and prayed, and I, I blame myself even a small bit, because I was very, um, na I don't know what the word is, very denouncing, I suppose, beforehand. Um, during February, I was like, please God, I won't come to this island, please God, I would just go over Ireland and, you know, forget about Ireland, this virus. Um, but, you know, obviously I was trying to just say, I was trying to get into my head that they wouldn't come, that they wouldn't, you know, I was hoping I was praying, I suppose it wasn't, I wasn't accepting the truth, and I might as well say it straight. Um, because I knew it was going to be bad, I knew it was going to be bad, I hoped and I prayed that, you know, we had the advantage of being an island nation. We'd be able to cope with it, we'd be able to deal with it. Um, but I was wrong. I was wrong. The government proved me very, very wrong. Um, done everything. Done everything wrong. And I mean done everything wrong. First of all, two weeks before the school was closed down, both Prime and Secretary, the government decided to put hand sanitizers in. They never were there before. Never were there before. Never cared less to put them in before. And you know, they just, like, they didn't even go into action, like, they never done anything. They never done anything, like, for two, the two weeks before St. Patrick's Day parade, they never done anything. They just sat there and, you know, were waiting, like, I don't know what they're waiting for, waiting or something, I don't know, they're waiting for the wind to blow. Like, in the same with the Northern Homes, we see, like, I could see this coming across Europe. It was in Italy and then it spread. You know, I could see it coming. And I could, and I could definitely see it coming. I might not have said it in my videos, but I could see it coming, but I was like, being... Very narcissistic, narcissistic. Would well, that be the right word to describe it? Um, just to, just praying and hoping they wouldn't come to Ireland and that they wouldn't forsake our land and wouldn't kill our people. But uh, you know, I was obviously trying to denounce the truth. I suppose trying not be trying um run away from the truth. And that's the thing. I should have been you know, open at the time because I knew, I had something in my mind said I knew it was going to be very bad and it would hit Ireland very badly. Um. But I, as I said, I hoped and I prayed that the government would have some kind of brain to close the ports. Like, if there's three cases, like, take, take my example, if there's 12 cases in Ireland, and they say close our ports, close our airports, only for cargo, um, no, we would have been able to contain it. We would have been able to, there might have been 100 cases, but we would have been able to contain it. Like in New Zealand, they have a bit of a brain, it's not going up, the, the, the number's not going up like in Ireland. Um, like, as I said, 18 deaths, so for, God knows how many deaths in this country, God forbid. 
and so many old people, and that's the thing about the talking now, that nursing homes is the biggest, and I say this, and I say this, I've seen a lot of things this government have done. And I'm shocked that you know, many things you are hu inhuman are for government to do this. They keep 10,000 people on the streets. Like, that alone is something that just, you know, tells that the government don't care about people. And don't care, especially for the native people. The next thing I say, this was the biggest disaster in the state. And there's no doubt about it. That we forgot, that the Irish government abandoned, like, literally forgot about the old people and just decided to pretend that they didn't exist. For a while, and didn't but you know, did protect the nursing homes, didn't protect them. And it's simple because I remember going into the no folks home. I say even the beginning of February, and this is before it even came to Ireland. The cold was even came to Ireland. I say even four or five weeks before it came to Ireland, and I went into the nursing home, and you know the way this hand sign ties to things. Well, it was for the swine food when the swine food was going around. That's back to the while ago, and um, and I put my hand because you know, every time I go to hospital, I always sanitize my hand anyway. Or oh, into an old folk, so I always do that, anyway. And I done that, and there was nothing in it. There was nothing in it, and you know that just goes to show you how quickly unprepared this country was for any kind of. And then having troops over in Lebanon, like you, just, you can't. And then leave them over there. That's the thing too. They just left them over there and they just said, "Oh, we bring in cherry pickers. How about that? That's great." Um, like this government ha hasn't got a clue. Simple as that. I might just say straight, they haven't got a clue. Um. And I said, and at least if they can make, you know, at least they can make amends now to the government. If they can, if they have a brain at all. Um, and Leo Frack or Simon Coveney in the Western. Like the old New, New Zealand, and I say this straight, and, I, and I'm saying this very straight. New Zealand knows what they're doing. It's simple as that. I, and I can see it from what they're talking about. And the way that they're conducting themselves. They haven't even bringing cameras and they're talking into government press briefings. And in this country, we wouldn't have a clue what's going on behind closed doors. They could be throwing envelopes around the whole hours, for all we know. Um, and I say that for, like, the one thing, and the thing I want to why I'm making this video, because that's one of the doctors said, and he, and he was signed for the Public Health Committee, National Public Health Committee. He said this is the biggest disaster in the history of the state. And it is a big disaster, it's the hugest, the most absolutely outrageous disaster to ever hit the state. That we stood, uh, the government and the local authorities and all whatever it is, we stood with our cocks in our hands. And we didn't do anything. Simple as that. And our heads in, a, in, our, in our house, too, in other words. Um, like, we've seen this coming, and we didn't protect our people. But, like, I don't think we could ever forgive ourselves. I don't think... If, if the government can just go past this... You know, like, God... For, like, honest to God, there's so many old people dead. And they didn't, never done any harm to anybody. Older people never do any harm to anybody. Um, you know, they're in the nursing homes. They're never, they never they're not doing any harm to everybody. And it's a sin to see... So many older people die. Um, it is it is a sin. Um, it's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult, especially when you're in a nursing home and you expect your elderly people to be protected and um, to have the best of care. But I'm afraid to say that the state did fail. And, I'm, I'm, and I say it straight and simple as that. I'm not going to, you know, say it's, I'm not going to say that any better than that. The state, you know, failed, especially failed to the people in nursing homes. They failed. And I, and I say that to Simon Governor. If I see him in the morning, if I see him today, if I see him any day, I say it to him that, that his government, along with Leo Fracker, then the West of them, rulers in government, I say that they, they basically just took the plug out and just basically just let the country, the foot door open and the back door open. And they just, you know, they brought it really on themselves. And that's the thing. They really brought it on themselves. Because this was a simple solution. As I said, New Zealand has an idea to use their brain. I said, we're an island. We have the advantage. More than any other country. We have the advantage. If we close our ports and close our airports. Or even, even at most. You know, as soon as anybody comes into the country, two weeks quality. Force quality. Bit of a brain. This country don't have a bit of a brain. Like them cherry pickers from Bulgaria. Or whatever that... Whatever the car, whatever whatever they're going to pick, I don't know what they're going to pick. They must be picking daisies because they're that way. They must be that way with the fairways that they're picking daisies. Um, like I wouldn't be surprised. They could probably bring in sixty people from God knows Timbuktu and probably say they're picking daisies and they'd probably be left into the country. That's the thing. And then the Irish person goes down the street, but be beaten up by the gals. Um, it's just this system's just corrupt. As simple as that. This system's just corrupt. That you just goes to show you this the they were dictating about oh go out don't go outside two kilometers and I was even saying it don't go outside two kilometers this time you yada 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 and you know this is for your own safety and this is for people's own safety too 
Um, but still, bringing in people from Bulgaria, that's, God knows, I couldn't tell you how far Bulgaria is. It's in Eastern Europe, but, you know, it's down in the, near the Mediterranean, it's near Greece. And, you, and you're just like, excuse me, but that's way outside two kilometers. And you don't see the guy, I've never seen one guy stop him. Not even one guy said, where are you going? And he's like, oh, <laughs> there's the flag on it. Um, not even, so not even one of them stopped him. And I know this is a bit of a rant, but I know people are saying, you know, wait until this is all over. But it has to be said that we need to learn from our mistakes. And I can't say there's enough. Like, the sooner as we learn from these mistakes, the sooner as we can prepare for, if it ever does, God forbid, please, God and mighty Father, it never will come, never will never be another disease like this that ever come onto these shores. And we have to learn that we have an island nation, for, for the love of God. That we are an island nation, we have the advantage more than France, more than Germany, more than Poland, more than any other country. That's not an island. We have the advantage. But we didn't take the advantage. And the same with England, they didn't take the advantage. You know, it's just, it's, like, I know we could pick and cherries all day. And pick the, pick the mistakes. I know people say, you know, during times of crisis, you haven't got time to take. And I understand that. I know that. Um, when something happens, you know, you haven't got time to take. You have to act instantly. But, you know, we've seen this coming. And we might just be honest with, yourself, with ourselves. We've seen this coming. Um, we've seen the spread from China to Italy to Spain to other countries. Um, we've seen it coming. And we didn't act. We didn't act. We sat around and we waited. And that was the crucial mistake we ever, we ever made. And so many people have paid their lives now for it. I can only hope and pray that, you know, we can learn at least from this. We can learn for again. And if it ever, please God, never come to that. But if it ever does come like a bad a second case, maybe of this, we at least we can learn from it. Be safe, everybody, and thank you.